Hello everyone, it's your girl Leslie, and after the goodbye video, if you guys haven't watched the goodbye video, please go ahead and watch that, um, because it is a very important video, and it's a very, very, very sad and big announcement. Please go see it, because it is very important and involved with YouTube, and YouTube is gonna make something happen on December 10th. Please go ahead and watch it. There's more details over there, and for extra details, I have a video link over there. Please go, get it, go ahead and go to the channel, go to my channel, and go ahead and watch it. Please do. It is very important. Other than that, guys, this is a box of kittens. Uh, Black Butler Cats, Ex Modern Reader, Chapter 22. I might read 23. Who knows if I have enough time. I don't understand like half of these. These are translated into English, so I will only read that. And I can't flip my freaking phone over to make it full, so we'll have to practice on that later. <clears throat> Anyways, so you're just going to leave me here with uh, your... Uh, Mama per, uh, I, I didn't plan on this. Um, I guess, um, Brendan, <laughs> I guess so. So you're just going to leave me here with Brendan so that you and dad can go on a holiday to Scotland? Rose asked while, t while talking to her mother over the phone with the Black Butler gang listening in, in on the background. Never mind, never mind the fact Never minding the fact that they had no idea what she's saying. Rose's mom. Uh, well, I forgot. I forgot what I named her mom. Rosita, I think. Rosita. Uh, Rosita's Rosita, and uh, Rose, his mom had called her in the early hours of the morning just to tell her this. We're not leaving him. He's going to have you, <laughs> shouted the voice of your dad's, of, of your dad, of your dad in the background. The phone must be on speaker. Yes, because that's just so much better, Rose said sarcastically while her dad laughed in the background. It's 4.30 in the morning. Why are you telling me this now? Because we're on the way there, Rose is... Um, her brothers or sister yelled from the back of the seat of the car. Despite not freaking, not speaking, I for, whatever, how you say that, he managed to understand what she said. Okay, why? Why is she come staying with me? Rose asked, now getting slowly off of the bed. Sh shouldn't she be at school? She can actually get to school quicker by your house than ours if you give her a spare key that is rose's mom said rose could just about hear the smirk in the tone of in her tone of voice fine fine whatever <laughs> how long is she staying rose asked as she sat in the living room the cats sitting around her on the sofa Oh, don't worry, we'll have her off of your hands in no time, Rose's mom said cheerfully through the phone. Rose could hear the bustle of the early morning traffic and the steady rumble of the Rosie, t I mean, Iscardo family car. One minute. Sorry, guys, mom, I need to make real quick. Anyways, fine, she grumbled getting up. See you in about an hour. Love you. Love you too. Love. <laughs> Rose's uh, mom. Rose's mom said back before she hung up. Who was that? Who was that, Rose? Eloise asked, swirling around her feet as she moved about the flat to get ready. Tell me now, my mother, Eloise. And what did she want? Eloise didn't swirl around her feet as. He asked this. It was tried her best to not trip over him as he did so. My little sister is staying over for a while. Rose stated simply, I must get this because this is just about the background, which I did not like to see. Mm hmm. It's about them investigating about CL Phantom Hive. So, huh. Okay, it's time. Skip chapter 23. So. They drove off. 
Will said awkwardly to her little sister. Um, uh, I forgot. Uh, you guys let me know what I should name her in the comments, but for now, I'm going to name her Elsa because I don't know what else to name her. <laughs> uh, Elsa, as she stood on the doorstep to her flat, um, to her flat, a massive duffel bag filled with a brim with who knows what slung over their shoulder. Yeah. Um, Elsa replied, equally as awkward, you want to come in? Uh, Elsa nodded. Rose stepped back to let her pass. Why are you wet? Uh, Rose asked as soon as she saw... I forgot her name. Um, Elsa's hair soaping wet and dripping steadily onto her shoulders, leaving a wet large with wet large pass patches. Eloise wandered out of Rose's bedroom, bounce, pouncing on his paws happily until he was dragged back into the room by a gray, almost black snout that belonged to Claude. He fell onto his face and extended his claws, creating claw marks onto the carpet, screeching silently as, his, as he went. His claws unhooked themselves from the carpet as he lifted up into the air, dangling the air helplessly from the fur on his neck, which was clamped firmly in, jaws, in Claude's jaw. Why won't you let me go, Claude? <laughs> Eloise huffed, his ears drooping and his face crunched up in discomfort. Can you put me down now? Claude lowered Eloise onto the onto the ground. We must not be seen. Rose's sister will be suspicious if she saw us. Why is there a red cat? Came the sound of Elsa's voice floating from the living room. Everyone quickly looking around, but girl was nowhere in sight. That damn idiot. William growled as he quickly jotted out of the room not only seeing girl posing and showing off his masculine fur girl suckless get back here the others followed after william trying to call him back and there was more of them rose kept silent she didn't even know she didn't even know what to say to her sister not being even a little bit a little disturbed that the cats could talk or even the fact that they are all for some reason piled on top of girl who was yelling something about his fur getting messed up instead she face palmed this is going to be a long week rose thought to herself inside <laughs> oh, so cyber. oh my god <laughs> that'd be so freaking funny as heck so this is ash's point of view the um the one that is um, the angel, the fallen angel. By the way, that's my mom freaking vacuuming, apparently. Even though it's 8 freaking 32. She's just, oof, a cleaner. But anywho. <clears throat> oof. Yeah, I think he is the one who put them. There. So we're gonna go read this one because it go involves the past and the future. Okay. Anyways, continuing. Ash sat perched in a branch of a tall tree facing the Phantom Eyes Manor. His board gate. Sorry for the interruption, guys. I had to help him over the carpet. It took me a lot. Oh my god, my freaking hands are. <laughs> oh my god, they hurt. But anyways, continuing where where I think I stopped on. His board gay staring at the group, examining his feather, uh, staring at the group, examining his feather in the drawing room. His feathered wings rustled slightly as a cold wind rustled the twig-like branches, causing them to wave in the sudden gust of air. Ashes purple eyes gazed in falter. However, as the servant suddenly jumped back in shock, the tailor appeared to be squealing in delight, and the two men in the the two Indians looked godsmacked. Then the house, who have stored Tanaka, walked into the room and bowed. Ash used his acute sense of hearing to hear his next words. I have returned Lady Elizabeth home. As per the Marquis's wishes, he stood up and opened his wings. He raised his reaper, rape, 
I don't even know how to say that, and swirled it in the air in a quick circular mo- motion. A swirling white per- portal opened um, amongst the storm clouds that were rolling in, a promising a heavy downpour of rain. As soon as the portal opened, Ash flapped his wings and flew in through the portal, reappearing in the modern-day London. Holy crap. He hovered a distance away from Rose's bedroom window, where she and the black butler crew were examining and discussing the feather identical to the one before. That was clasped between Rose's thumb and index finger. His gaze quickly shifted towards Rose's sister, who was currently flicking through the channels on her TV. Ash smirked, his head rolling slightly, his hair covering his eyes. He chuckled deep in his throat. Time for sun. Fun, 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 fun. <laughs> okay, never mind. That was like, it's, it's like basically a song from Group Pasta, I believe. It's not from Group Pasta, but it's people suddenly related to Group Pasta. But anyways, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed. I'm only reading chapter 22 and 23 because um, my fingers hurt. I'm tired. And I've done basically two videos today. Well, for you guys, it's like one video yesterday and one video today. So, um, but it's basically two videos for me because I have to edit them and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more amazing videos. But guys, remember, please watch the goodbye video, please. It's very important, and it might end up being really 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 good for you guys because you never know whenever this channel will suddenly end and that's what it's basically about i'm not like ending the channel but youtube is doing that not just to my channel to every channel more details are again at the video please there will be a link in the description so please guys go watch it please I beg of you, please watch it so you will understand what I'm talking about and why I'm very upset at the moment. Not as much, but still upset. Anyways, guys, bye and peace.